birds are the masters of flight, but to achieve this success, their bodies have had to go through several modifications. The most obvious of these is their hollow bones, which vary in number between species, but all serve the purpose of making the bird lighter. The internal structure of these bones is crisscrossed with struts to provide extra strength so the body can withstand taking off, flying and landing. The bones are also filled with air sacs, often causing the bones to be referred to as pneumatized. The number of hollow bones often varies between species. Large gliding and soaring birds tend to have the most, whilst some diving birds, such as puffins, loons and penguins, are known to have none. Flightless birds, such as ostriches and emus, do still have pneumatized bones, specifically their femurs. Another way their skeletons reduce weight is that several bones are ossified together, such as the pygostyle. The pygostyle is a solid structure typically made of the last four caudal vertebrae and provides an attachment point for feathers and aids in the control of flight. Other fused bones include the collarbone and keeled breastbone. The keeled sternum is an attachment site for the major muscles in both flying and swimming birds. However, flightless birds lack a keel entirely. The syncacrum is an important fused bone, formed from several vertebrae, that supports the bird's body when not in flight. All these fused bones, and the fact they lack teeth or even a true jaw entirely, mean that birds have less bones than other terrestrial vertebrates.